Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. Hit that subscribe button and that bell below before we get started. We're going to get into the book of Acts this morning and I'm going to be in chapter 4 verses 8 through 12 and this is very powerful because this shows us very clearly that there is no other way to be saved except through Yeshua, that's his name in Hebrew, Jesus the Christ. So let's get started. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, If we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well, let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So this scripture is telling us that Jesus is that chief cornerstone that the Jews rejected um, back in the ancient times. And to this day, people still reject Jesus and they think that there are multiple ways to get to heaven, that there's multiple ways to get to the Father, and that's just not true. Um, there is only one way. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> God's Word is the infallible truth of salvation. This whole book, from Genesis all the way through the end of the book of Revelation, is all about Jesus Christ. Um, he is all through the Old Testament, and then he manifests in the flesh, and then we get the New Testament, and he comes and he fulfills the Old Covenant uh, by his death and resurrection, and um, gives us the New Commandments, the two great commandments, to love God with all of our heart and our soul and our mind, with everything we've got, and love our neighbors as ourselves. And that includes our enemies as well. So um, that's just that's not just our neighbors, the people that you know live next door to us, but that includes everyone. We're supposed to love everyone, and we're supposed to live in peace as much as we possibly can. <clears throat> excuse me, on our part. Um, but Jesus is coming back soon. He's coming back very, very soon. We are living in the end of the end of days. So we are coming up on the end of the church age. Jesus is returning very, very soon. So our time is very short. And I am just here to let you know that Jesus, or Yeshua, his name in Hebrew, he is the only way. He's the only way to the Father, to the creator of the heavens and the earth. The one that created everything. Jesus is the only way for us to be reconciled back to God. We were born sinners. So, we're not born innocent. We're born sinners. We're born guilty from day one. We are born sinners. And we cannot follow the laws of the old covenant um, because we are born sinners. Because of the fall of Adam and Eve. So, Jesus came in the flesh, and at 33 years old, he went to Calvary. He was beaten, he was tortured, he was crucified, he was nailed to a cross, and he died for our sins. He became sin for us on that cross, and he said, it is finished. He is the final atonement for our sins. He took the penalty that we deserved. He took that punishment upon himself for the sins of the whole world. That's a lot of sin. That is a whole lot of sin. None of us could have borne the sin. We, we couldn't have done that. Jesus is the only one that could go to that cross and bear the sin and become the sin to pay the penalty for us. That is a free gift to us, a free gift of salvation through his death on the cross, through faith in Jesus Christ, uh, three days later, God raised him from the dead, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, alive and well, an eternal being, 
and He has given us that free gift of salvation so we can have eternity with Him in heaven and then with Him on earth, walking with Him on the new earth in the new Jerusalem. So I just pray that if you don't know Jesus, the time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Accept that free gift of salvation and be reconciled back to God the Father. It is absolutely wonderful. It's the most important decision that you can make. Because those that do not have Christ Jesus, those that are not in Christ Jesus, those are, that are not born again in the Spirit through faith in Christ Jesus are going to be facing an eternity in hell, in the lake of fire. And I don't want anyone to go there. And God doesn't want anyone to go there. So, But He has given us free will. He's given us this choice. We have a choice to make. We can either choose salvation through faith in Jesus Christ or we can choose to reject Him and if we do that, then we're choosing an eternity separated from God. And eternity is forever. It never ends. So just please make the decision to put your faith in Jesus Christ today. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Shalom, and I'll see you next time. Bye.